Hi there, this is Jaron Lexo from Pro Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to share with you 10 secrets so you can build a highly converting landing page. The landing page that you can see on the screen, I did this in just a few seconds using Instapage. You don't need to use Instapage for you to apply the secrets that I'm going to share with you, but if you want to learn more about Instapage, I recommend for you to click on the link that you can see on the screen so you can watch my full tutorial about Instapage. Anyway, let's get started. So when it comes to landing pages, it can be for a lot of different niches. So the conversation that you write inside of your landing page is really up to you and you need to have a good understanding about your audience or in other words what exactly triggers their, emo their emotions so they will take action inside of your landing page also it can have different purposes you can build a landing page where you promote a product in my case I built a landing page to grab email addresses but when it comes to landing pages calmly the most successful landing pages usually follow the 10 secrets that I'm going to share with you. So let's talk about secret number one, which is the title of your landing page. The title is extremely, extremely important when it comes to your landing page because it's the first thing that your visitors see. And based on your title, they pretty much will decide if they want to stick around, read the rest of your landing page or simply leave. So you need to have a title that is really enticing that will trigger your visitors emotions and also you need to have a title that is very clear very direct about what exactly you are trying to promote inside of your landing page I'm not saying that this title that I have over here is brilliant or anything like that I built this landing page just in a few seconds but when it comes to titles I always recommend if you are starting out to build at least three landing pages that are similar but with different titles and see which title works the best for you and you will see that many times the title that you thought was brilliant and fantastic is the one that is actually the least effective and the one that you were like yeah this is this is not really great is sometimes the one that works the best for you so secret number two is the subheading of your landing page so it's this line that appears right below from your title and the subheading is optional it's not required but if you feel that you want to provide some extra information to your visitors then you may consider adding a subheading to your landing page now once again a subheading should always be very enticing and also be very clear about what you are trying to promote inside of your landing page but on contrary to the title inside of your subheading you should put a few extra details about your offer Secret number three is the image inside of your landing page. So this should be the image of your lead magnet. This can be an image of an ebook, an audio course, or a video course, or whatever you are trying to promote inside of your landing page. It's important to notice that this image should always be of high quality. It should be the best quality that you can possibly have when it comes to images. I many times go to some landing pages they have a poor quality image and it merely makes the whole landing page seem very poor, very cheap and that's something that you don't want. Also, the image is something that is very important because people when go, they go to a landing page, many times they decide if they want to get your promotion just based on this image. If they see a really enticing image, they might immediately consider getting your promotion just based on your image. Also, you should always put your image on the left side. The reason why you put your image on the left side is because people typically have the habit of reading from the left to the right side. So th what happens is when they go to your landing page, they immediately see your image because it's positioned on the left side. The other thing is about po bulletin points. You can see that over here I have three bulletin points. And instead of the, each bullet point, you should give uh, a few extra details about the benefits that person gets from getting your lead magnet or promotion or whatever. 
and typically I like go, to go between three to five points I never put more than five points and some people have this idea that the more the better but it's not always the case sometimes just having a few bulletin points is better because you don't overload your visitors with too much information people go to your landing page and they want to they want to get some information based on what you are trying to offer but they also don't want to waste a lot of time reading your ebook watching your videos so the more bulletin points you put the bigger is the possibility of that person feeling overload and not wanting to get your promotion so the fewer the best and also always mention the benefits that person gets from obtaining your offer the benefits is not about you it's about your visitors you, people would go to your landing page and they don't care about what you will get in the end if they actually uh, they actually subscribe to your email newsletter they care about themselves so you should always put it like what your visitor will get in the end you can see over here I have an example learn how to talk to women and make them want you badly this is something that typically people, guys want to know when it comes to women they want to know the exact words they need to say to women so they can get women into bed and if this this lead magnet that you have offers exactly all of the information they need to talk to women then it's something that guys will probably be really interested in getting secret number five is to build immediate trust when your visitors go to your landing page this is important because if you want people to have their email address to your opt-in box or even purchase your product they need to trust your landing page there are several things that you can do when it comes to this one of them is to simply have testimonials you want to always have genuine testimonials and if you have testimonials from famous people within your niche it's even better because it builds even more trust in the promotion that you have in your landing page also include a photo and also the name of that person and also where that person lives because this builds a lot of trust in your testimonial the other thing that you can also integrate is we protect your privacy under your opt-in box is also a little thing that you can do to build a bit more trust also have uh, contact us in this case I had an email to my support team for example if I had a support team behind my landing page so I always had some contact information so people can contact you this can also be a phone number or even the location of your business and the other thing is to have a logo because this way people are able to see that there's actually a brand behind this landing page these are a few things that you can do to build immediate trust secret number six is your call to action this is one of the most important parts when it comes to a good landing page you can see that my call to action is this one which is this button always make your call to action big and bold because you want people to easily see it there are a few tricks to for you to have a good call to action first one is the test that you have inside of your button when it comes to the test I always like to explain what that person will receive once they insert their email address and also once they have clicked this button you can see get my free ebook now there are a couple of words that I also like to use such as my because people like to feel that this promotion that I'm offering already belongs to them also the word free because people like stuff that are free and also the word now I use now because people like to receive their their bonus immediately they don't want to wait one day or two days to receive it they want to receive it now also I always make it a contrasting color you can see that I'm using a red and also I have a black background which makes this button basically just pop out and be in your face so that's a trick that I like to use and the colors that usually work the best are red yellow and also green you can use green especially in the money niche and how to make money online and so on green typically works better for that because people associate green with money and if you are in a niche more oriented for women you could also try pink because that may work well also for that kind of niche 
Tip number seven is to only ask the required information that you need from your visitors. So if you only need that person's email address, then only ask that. Because the more fields that you add to your opt-in box, the, the harder it will be for you to obtain someone's email address because, well, people are typically quite lazy. They want to go to a landing page, they want to get your bonus, but they really don't want to waste much time trying to get it. I sometimes go to some landing pages where it asks my name, it asks my postal code, my email address, and sometimes I just don't feel like filling all of that information to get my bonus. So only you ask the required information. The other tip, tip number eight, is to give that person's pain. You want to give your visitors always some sort of pain. So this can be inside of your testimonial, you have a testimonial where someone explains all of the pain that they had before they got your product. It can be also inside of your title, like this one, are you tired and frustrated of not having women? So basically, I'm making that person basically focused on the pain that they are having in the moment with women. They feel tired, they feel frustrated of not having choice with women in their life. And by making that person imagine that situation, it gives them pain. It gives them immediate pain once you are reading my landing page. Secret number nine is to give that person pleasure. Your product must be the source of pleasure that person will have once they get it. So you give them pain, you make that person imagine their current situation and how painful it is, then you want that person to shade your product has a source of pleasure, of what they really need to get so all of that pain will disappear from their life. Now there are several ways that you can do this basically the similar to what I've explained previously with pain you can do it for using your subheading or even your title by mentioning how pleasurable is your product also from using your bulletin points the benefits that person will get you can also give that person pleasure by your bulletin points and also the testimonial that you have is extremely important if you want to add a testimonial to your landing page so those are the several ways that you can basically tell that person your product is a source of pleasure that they need so they can basically vanish all of the pain that they have in the moment in their life. The secret number 10 is the organization of your landing page. This is extremely, extremely important. You can see that my landing page is well organized. I have the title in the, in the very top and the title is what will immediately capture that person's interest and, and basically make them want to read the rest of my landing page. Then I have the subheading giving just some basic information about my lead magnet. Then I have the image, which is another thing that really captures that person's attention and grabs them to my landing page. And also several bulletin points explaining some details about my product, the benefits that person will get then a testimonial really to basically make that person really trust my product, really want to get it. And then lastly, I have my opt-in box because if that person already read all of my landing page to the bottom, then most likely they will be interested in subscribing to get their offer. They will be excited. They just want to immediately get it through their email address. You can also see that I have over here uh, just uh, some information about what that person needs to do. Just add your email address to immediately receive your free book to your inbox. And also a arrow pointing to my button. This arrow is not that ideal. It would actually need to be a bit bigger, but you get the idea. So I have over here an organization. You never want to put, for example, your opt-in box in the very beginning because, well, you still haven't entice that person or excited that person enough to get your bonus. So there is a structure to your landing page and this structure that I'm mentioning over here works quite well when it comes to, to landing pages. So that is all for this video. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe and like my video so you can receive my weekly video updates 
where I talk about WordPress, about internet marketing, and a lot more. So stay there, stay tuned with Pro Tutorials, and bye.